Beta I people, Wikipedia article audio. Beta I people or Betas are an Austronesian ethnic group native to the city of Jakarta and its immediate outskirts, as such often described as the native inhabitants of the city. They are the descendants of the people who inhabited Batavia from during the 17th century. However, the term native itself is questionable since the Beta I people emerged in the 18th century as an amalgamation of various immigrant ethnic groups into Batavia. Etymology Origin and History The name Beta I is derived from Batavia, the old colonial name of Jakarta. In neighboring Javanese and Sundanese languages, the term Beta I originally referred to colonial Batavia. Thus the term Orang Batai means people of Batavia or Batavians, collectively consisting of diverse ethnic groups and various demographics from the area of the coastal Dutch colony, either within the 17th century fortified city of Old Batavia or surrounding villages. Ironically, the name Batavia itself is ultimately derived from the name of a people, the Batavians a tribe who lived in the time of the Roman Empire in the territory of the present-day Netherlands. The Betas are one of the youngest, or the latest formed ethnic group in Indonesia. They are a Creole ethnic group in that their ancestors came from various parts of Indonesia and abroad. Prior to the 19th century, the self-identity of Betai people was not yet formed. In the 17th century, Dutch colonials began to import servants and labors from all over the archipelago into Batavia. One of the earliest were Balinese slaves bought from Bali and Ambonese mercenaries. Subsequently, other ethnic groups followed suit, they were Malays, Sundanese, Javanese, Minangkabau, Bugis and Makassaris. Foreign ethnic groups were also included, such as Mardajkar, Portuguese, Dutch, Arabs, Chinese and Indian, who were originally brought to or attracted to Batavia to work. Originally, circa 17th to 18th century, the dwellers of Batavia were identified according to their ethnics of origin, either Sundanese, Javanese, Malay, Ambonese, Bugis Makassar, or Arabs and Chinese. This was shown in the Batavia census record that listed the immigrants' ethnic background of Batavian citizens. They were separated into specific ethnic-based enclaves kampungs, which is why in today's Jakarta there are some regions named after an ethnic-specific name such as Kampung Meleu, Kampung Bali, Makassar, and Kampung Ambon. These ethnic groups merged and formed around the 18th to 19th centuries. It was not until late 19th or early 20th century that the group who would become the dwellers of Batavia, referred to themselves as Betai, which refers to a Creole Malay-speaking ethnic group which has a mixed culture of different influences, Malay. Sundanese to Arabic and Chinese. The term Betai was first listed as an ethnic category in 1930 census of Batavia residents. Language The Betai people have a culture and language distinct from the surrounding Sundanese and Javanese. The Betais are known for their traditions in music and food. The Betai are part of the Malay family because their traditions, customs, and language are categorized into the Malay culture. The Betai language also known as Betai Malay, is a Malay-based Creole language. It was the only Malay-based dialect spoken on the northern coast of Java. Other northern Java coastal areas are overwhelmingly dominated by Javanese dialects, while some parts speak Madurais and Sundanese. Betai vocabulary has many Hokkien Chinese, Arabic, and Dutch loan words. 
Today the Beitai language is a popular informal language in Indonesia and used as the base of Indonesian accent. It has become one of the most widely spoken languages in Indonesia, and also one of the most active local dialects in the country. Religion A majority of the Beitai people follow Sunni Islam. However, there are a significant number who profess the Christian faith. Among the Beitai ethnic Christians, some have claimed that they are the descendants of the Portuguese Martijker which intermarried with the local population, who mainly settled in the area of Kampung Tegu, North Jakarta. Although today Beitai culture is often perceived as a Muslim culture, it also had other roots which includes Christian Portuguese and Chinese Peranakan culture. Recently, there is an ongoing debate on defining Beitai culture and identity as mainstream Beitai organizations are criticized for only accommodating Muslim Beitai while marginalizing non-Muslim elements within Beitai culture such as Portuguese Christian Beitai Tagu and Tanjrang China Bentong community. The culture and art form of the Beitai people demonstrate the influences experienced by them throughout their history. Foreign influences are visible, such as Portuguese and Chinese influences on their musics, and Sundanese, Javanese and Chinese influences in their dances. Contrary to popular perception, which believed that Beitai culture is currently marginalized and under pressure from the more dominant neighboring Javanese and Sundanese culture Beitai culture is actually thriving, since it is being adopted by immigrants who has settled in Jakarta. The Beitai culture also has become an identity for the city, promoted through municipal government patronage. The Beitai dialect is often spoken in TV shows and drama. The Gambang Kramong and Tanjidor, as well as Karen Kong Kima Ioran music is derived from the Kron Kong music of Portuguese Martijker people of Tegu area, North Jakarta. Culture The Andalondal large bamboo masked puppet giant effigy is similar to Chinese Balinese Barong Landung and Sundanese Badawang, the art forms of masked dance. The traditional Beitai dances costumes shows both Chinese and European influences, while the movements such as Yapong dance, which is derived from Sundanese Japongan dance with a hint of Chinese style. Another dance is Topeng Beitai or Beitai mask dance. Music Beitai popular folk drama is called Lenong which is a form of theater that draw themes from local urban legends, foreign stories to everyday life of Beitai people. Dance and Drama Silat Beitai is a martial art of Beitai people, which was not quite popular, but recently has gained wider attention thanks to the popularity of Silat films, such as The Raid. Beitai martial art was rooted in Beitai culture of Jagoan that during colonial times often went against colonial authority, despised by the Dutch as thugs and bandits, but highly respected by local Pribimus as natives' champion. In Beitai dialect, their style of Penchak Silat is called Main Pukulan which related to Sundanese Main Po. Notable schools among other are Bexi and Sinkrijk. Bexi is one of the most commonly practiced forms of Silat in Greater Jakarta, and is distinguishable from other Beitai Silat styles by its close distance combat style and lack of offensive leg action. During a Beitai wedding ceremony, there is a Palan Pinta tradition of Silat Beitai demonstration. It was a choreographed mock fighting between grooms' entourage with bride's Jago and Kampung. The fight is naturally won by grooms' entourage as the village champs welcomes him to bride's home. The traditional wedding dress of Beitai displays Chinese influence in bride's costume and Arabian influences in groom's costume. 
Bei Ta'i people borrowed Chinese culture of firecrackers during wedding, circumcisions, or any celebrative events. The tradition of bringing roti buia during wedding is probably a European custom. Martial Arts Other Bei Ta'i celebrations and ceremonies include Sunatan or Katanan, and Lebaran Bei Ta'i festival. As a thriving port city, the cuisine of Bei Ta'i is eclectic as it reflects the foreign culinary traditions that has been influenced the inhabitant of Jakarta for centuries. Bei Ta'i cuisine is heavily influenced by Peranakan cuisine of Chinese Indonesian, Malay cuisine, neighboring Sundanese and Javanese cuisine, to some extent Indian, Arabic, and European cuisines. Bei Ta'i people have several popular cuisines, such as Soto Bei Ta'i, Soto Keiki, Nesai Huduk, Karak Telaer, Nesai Ulam, Asanan, Keto Prak, Ruhak, Seemer Yenkel, Seur Asam, Gabas Pyukung, and Gado Gado Bei Ta'i. Karak Telaer Soto Bei Ta'i Nesai Huduk Seemer Yenkel Ceremonies Keto Prak Cuisine Asanan Bei Ta'i Traditionally Bei Ta'i people are not an urban dweller living in Gadong or two-storied Chinese Rumatoko clustered in and around Batavia city walls. They are living in kampungs around the city filled with orchards. As Jakarta become more and more densely populated, so does Bei Ta'i traditional villages that mostly now turned into a densely packed urban village with humble houses tucked in between high-rise buildings and main roads. Some of more authentic Bei Ta'i village survived only in the outskirt of the city, such as in Seto Babakan, Jagakarta, South Jakarta bordering with Depok area, West Java. Traditional Bei Ta'i houses can be found in Bei Ta'i traditional Kampung in Kondet and Seto Babakan area, East and South Jakarta. Bei Ta'i houses are typically one of three styles, Ruma Bapang, Ruma Gudang, and Javanese-influenced Ruma Joglo. Most Bei Ta'i houses have a gabled roof, with the exception the Joglo house, which has a high-pointed roof. Bei Ta'i architecture has a specific ornamentation called Gigi Balan which are a row of wooden shingles applied on the roof fascia. Another distinctive characteristics of Bei Ta'i house is a lankan, a framed open front terrace where Bei Ta'i family receive their guests. The large front terrace is used as an outdoor living space. Architecture Notable People Bibliography